everyone. This week's toy hunt is filmed at Target, and lo and behold, they have some Pokemon cards in the front section by the registers. They have some of the pre-made theme decks, single packs of battle styles, and a couple Black Star promo sets for battle styles. That is so cool. Um, I know they made the announcement that Target will no longer be selling sporting cards and Pokemon cards. They even have this large jumbo like anniversary set. So maybe this is a Target that is kind of far away from where I live, but I haven't been to in a while. So maybe they're just getting rid of all their stock right now. And then moving forward, they won't have the cards. Um, they do have some signs saying that, you know, there's the limit, which that's good. But I still think it didn't prevent problems from arising. They also have a really cool blind bag section. Um, oh, they have some world's smallest capsules, which are really cool. There's even Ninja Turtles. That's awesome. And in the toy section proper, we have one of the new toy mini brands, Collector Cases. Yes, I've never seen this in person. And you do get four inside, and it can hold 30. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. I wish their cases were a little bit bigger to hold all of them. That would be kind of cool. But, of course, it's shaped like a round ball, which is, <laughs> which is their capsule. And then they also have the Unicorn Squad. Cute Tito's, Pizza Itos are here. Awesome stuff. They also have the Secret Crush Series 2 dolls. I really need to eventually open some. I love the pets. I've opened one or two of those. A couple real brands, some real littles. Let's see, some of the iDig Monsters and the Shopkins real littles as well. Oh, I hope they keep making those. Then we have Twisty Pets. Which I don't know if that's a new series of animals. There's there's a lot of twisty pets, and then they have the twisty girls. But still super cute. Super cute. And this is a, a bit of a lull in terms of new toys, but we shall see what this Target has. It's always fun to explore a, a new Target. They do have the LOL surprise section, fully stocked. We got a variety of capsules, the OMG dolls. The new ones, the old ones, that large jumbo set, which I haven't seen since the holidays, but that's cool. And then this is one of the Target that carries the Glitter Girls. Not every Target does, but here's a look at the, the smaller dolls. They're very cute. And they also have some little animal accessories, as well as the clothes. That little ladybug shirt is adorable. So there's little chalkboard one. Ah, oh, that's really cute. Very, very cute. And a really nice size, smaller dolls. And then down this section, we have some new spirit toys. I love the horses wearing the blankets. That's cute. Still some of the older My Little Pony. I know they're relaunching that whole series. Although you guys will have to let me know if you like the look of the new pony stuff coming out. I'm, I'm not a fan right now, but we'll see how it goes. And then Polly Pockets has their little pinata. They have a lot of great stuff for Polly Pockets. They also have these like action figure dolls, which I don't see too often, but it looks like they have big play sets for them too now. So if you want something a little bit larger <laughs> for your Polly Pockets, then there's, there's a size up. That's kind of cool. And then we have a little bit of fail fix and then a rainbow high. I'm also ready for, for anything new with Rainbow High, but it looks like um, they have the stock dolls. And then Hatchimals has a lot of the Wilder Wings. I haven't seen some of these packs in a bit. So they have a nice selection of mini packs, the blind bag individual packs, and then these jumbo packs, which are a really good value. If you're looking to kickstart your series, um, I recommend those dozen crates. And then we have some cool little live pets. Love the little dippers. They have some cool butterflies. I've never tried the butterfly ones. And then Giga Pets. That's cute. You get a little Dalmatian. And then the Squeakies. Speaking of Dalmatian, he's so cute. I realize he has like a little red sweater on. <laughs> That's adorable. And then some of the other electronic pets. 
And then on the flip side here, we have the R generation. So these are the larger 17 inch dolls, 18 inch. So that's kind of cool. The glitter girls are, are smaller than that. So you can go for the big size dolls. I love the accessories. <laughs> oh, I know. I was such a sucker for the mini foods. They have this adorable hot pink picnic table. How cute is that? You can create such cute scenes. They also have the hot dog cart. Very cute clothes and accessories. And I've reviewed some of the new Our Generation recently and I just love the new sculpting design. They look so realistic and, and so pretty. And then they also have the little individual packs. And this Target also kind of has an anime section. I find the Targets that have the Glitter Girls also has a separate section for some of the anime stuff, which is really cool. Definitely want to go to these more often, but they have some Dragon Ball Z, Final Fantasy, we have Naruto up there, just a lot of cool stuff. Not too much, but, but something. Um, and I, I really enjoy looking at this section. And then on the flip side to that, they have Piggy Items including some of the action figures. And then Roblox, I've lost count, but here's series eight. I don't know if this is new, but I do not re remember seeing that awesome pirate. Oh my goodness. She's, she's awesome. I would really like her. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, series eight, I gotta be on, on the lookout for that. Oh, there's Wooloo. They have a sheep, a sheep plushie for Pokemon, which is more than we found in a, in a bit. Um, they have that Eevee. Oh, it's just kind of an empty section. Pikachu plush, some more Roblox, Halo, and then Fortnite. And then on the flip side, we have a human torch from those Marvel um, classics. I just love the packaging. We've found some others before, and the Human Torch is cool because he is made of a clear plastic. And then in Transformers, we have the Bumblebee and Spike, and just noticing that Spike has no face. So in the picture it does, but it's just like painted over. Oh, come on. They, they could have made that better. Ooh, and then they have Blur from the Transformers movie studio series. Oh my goodness, that's cool. That is awesome. This box is a little, little dented, but my goodness, I haven't seen the studio series in a long time, and I need blur. <laughs> they also have a cool Joker. The Batman section has just been um, really well stocked. Lots of new Batman toys, and then Jurassic Park, Jurassic World has some new dinosaurs. The Velociraptor and um, Pteranodon, and then we have some of the action figures. Look at how cool. So they have a Netflix series now too. I'm not I'm not sure, but it looks like some of the new toys are advertising that. That's awesome. I'm going to definitely need to to look into that more. They have some of the new Space Jam movie toys. They actually have a ton at this Target. So we have the small capsules we've seen and then they have more of the action figure sets which looks pretty cool. And the human figures by themselves, so they have some of the two packs with the Looney Tune characters, but then you can also find them individually. So we have the LeBron James one. That's pretty neat. I know Space Jam, the first movie, is, is sort of become a classic, so I hope the, the Legacy one is is good. Oh, we have the Martian, so that's really cool. And he's just the classic Looney Tune character by himself, so... And then there's Bugs back there, too. Oh, I wish there was a Wile E. Coyote. I, <laughs> I like him. But very cool to have the Martian. So that's pretty exciting. That, that should be a good time. I'm not sure exactly when that's coming out, but I'm sure soon, or at least this summer. And then we have some He-Man, Masters of the Universe stuff, Star Wars... Oh, cool. They have um, another little action shooting playset for Space Jam. That looks fun. Oh, there's our rocket. Love the art design. We're going to, I guess, put him with the Guardian or the um, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge stuff. Looks like there was a new section for the bounty figures for 
uh, Star Wars, but they were empty. And then in wrestling, we have some John Cena. <laughs> That's awesome. They actually are pretty well stocked down the action figure aisle. They have these um, champion sets, which look really cool. So overall, lots of lots of new items in the action figure section. It's good to see some some new stuff. And they also have the Grogu in the little knapsack backpack thing. <laughs> so cute. And then in back in the Funko section, they actually have some Space Jam figures and also the Target exclusive um, Magneto. Or is it Target exclusive for all of X-Men? I don't know, but they're the cool, like neon paint version they only have magneto here but still that's kind of a, a neat series and then it looks like they have lola and daffy duck oh that's cute um i'm not sure so bugs oh yes there's four in the space jam funko pop line so that's kind of neat they have all four here with with bugs up there so pretty cool stuff with with pops Oh, they have cotton candy from the retro My Little Pony. They have a Star Wars figure, Black Panther. This Target has a lot of nice Funko Pops today, so that's pretty awesome. They even have some Deadpool mystery minis, which I would love the T-Rex Deadpool. Cool. Oh, look at that is really cute. How funny. Glad to see new new Funko merch, especially finding them in st stores is, is a treat. <laughs> Very awesome. I always love checking this section at Target, and I need to make it a point to always film here. Sometimes it's just a disaster, but today they have a, a ton of good stuff. Okay, so I'm back home from my toy hunt and the rest of the video is a little mini haul. And I was really happy to find the Toy Mini Brands collector case. Some of you mentioned its existence. I've never saw it until this toy hunt. And there are four exclusive minis inside, which I'm very curious about. I wonder if one is a Ninja Turtle. I've been hunting a Ninja Turtle for a while. And I wish all of the mini brands fit in the case, but it looks like it holds 30, which is cool. Very, very similar to the um, regular mini brand series. And then the next item I purchased, I was so happy to find the Transformers the Movie Studio series of Blur from the 1986 awesome animated movie. Definitely such a fan, and I think there's one more. I think I just need Jazz and, and Grimlock. Um, I bought Cup online, and I was so happy to find Blur in person because it has been a while since I've seen these studio ones in stores. But I think they um, might be making a reappearance, which is awesome. And he's so cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the last item I was kind of shocked to find is a Pokemon <laughs> card set. They had several from Battle Styles, and I know Target and Walmart are no longer going to be selling like sports cards and Pokemon store cards in stores um, due to recent shenanigans, but um, this is one of the Black Star promos. It was limit to one of a Pokemon card item per person. So I picked up this. This is the little Aracuda promo. I like these promo packs because you get that exclusive card, you get a coin, and you get one pack, which is always fun. So there is that. We will see what that section looks like going forward or how long that will last. But I'm hoping Target Online or Walmart Online will at least have some English Pokemon cards to find. Um, if not, I'll be trying to get my hands on more Japanese cards too because it's so cool and it's just unfortunate the, the state of things with, with Pokemon. So that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. I do post a toy hunt each and every week. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I do hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.